Jock. Oh my, he did not need to die for that. We're gonna keep him all at first base, or all at third base. I mean, what, we can keep him all in the bases. You know what I'm trying to say. We got Ichiro with the bases loaded and nobody out. No matter what happens in this episode of Revolution, the team literally cannot be worse than what we got in the last video. We got such bad picks from the wheel, it made it friggin' impossible to go in and win that game. We did put up a good fight, but we were not able to get out with the victory. There's just no way it can be any worse. We had such a bad team. I did draft backwards in the last video, meaning that I drafted the lineup first and then the pitching second. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna draft normal because I feel like that had an effect. Since we lost in the last game, we also don't get to keep our veto, so that's unfortunate, but whatever. Let's get into it. Let's see where our ace starting pitcher is gonna be from. Remember, it just cannot be worse. The Giants. Christy Matthews. Okay, I've only used this card, I believe, once. Let me see. Yeah, 2.25 ERA in eight innings. Not terrible. Then we're going to the Mets. So far, so good. 299 overall signature starting pitchers. Tom Seaver, welcome to the squad. Then we're going to the Houston Astros. 99 Garrett Cole. Dude, so far, this team kind of stacked on the rotation. I like what I'm seeing. Then we're going back to the Giants. 98 Madbum, the newest member of the Arizona Diamondbacks. He's going to be the fourth starting pitcher. We're going to finish it out with the Angels. 99 Nolan Ryan. So five pitchers in the rotation are a 98 or above. That is perfect. All right, let's get into the bullpen now. Hopefully the bullpen is just as good. Detroit. Okay, that's actually fine. 80 Drew Smiley. I'm cool with that. I'll take that lefty all day. I like that pick. Then we're going to Arizona. Arizona. This one's gonna be Archie Bradley, 80 overall gold. Okay, so we've got two golds in there. We need to start getting some diamonds. There we go, the Brewers. Another strong lefty, 99 overall Josh Hader. I'll take that all day long. Give me more of that. Hey, another Brewers. I'm a big fan of this Raleigh Fingers card, 89 overall. So far, I like the bullpen, but we can make it even better. Then we're going to Washington. I've got to go with this 92 Patrick Corbin. I love this card. A nice lefty. The lefties are set. We're good there. Boston. This one's going to be 86. Brandon Workman. He's going to be a diamond in the bullpen. And we need one more good bullpen arm, man. We need a good diamond. The Mets. All right. Seth Lugo. I mean... I'm usually not very good with him. My ERA is at 16. I'm really not good with this card for some reason, but hopefully today's the day he turns it around. So that's my last bullpen arm. Now we're getting into the lineup. Remember, no vetoes. So whoever we get is who we're stuck with. All right, catcher. Where is our catcher going to come from? The Phillies, let's go. Off to a hot start with that 99 finest JT Real Muto. All right, first base. Let's keep it going. The Chicago Cubs. All right, I'm going to go with Victor Caratini over um, Anthony Rizzo because he's got a little bit more pop against righties and that's really all I'm looking for so I'm taking him. Second base gives us the Mets. I had to go out and buy him but I'm taking 90 overall Daniel Murphy. He is going to be the second baseman. I really wish that finest Jeff McNeil was a second baseman so that's unfortunate. Third base is the Rays. Evan Longoria. Perfect. Signature series with diamond defense at third base. I love it. Shortstop. Ooh, we almost got the Astros. We got the Tigers though. Another diamond in the field okay Alan Trammell 94 overall so the team is actually not bad we're going into the outfield now left field we've got the Blue Jays all right well we're not gonna get a ton of defense out of Lourdes out there but Guriel Jr. will be in left field at least he's gonna provide some offense okay then for center field we have Texas Bruh. yeah that one's the toughest one so far Danny Santana neither of his diamond cards are primary center fielders they're both first basemen but his live series is a center fielder so that's who we're stuck with right there so Danny Danny Santana is our center fielder. Hopefully right field is someone solid. The Mariners. Ichiro. Perfect. Let's go. We get Ichiro. I could take Jay Buhner if I wanted to as well, but we're using Ichiro 100%. All right. So Ichiro's in right field. Now it is time to pick up the last five guys for the team. The bench bets. Which silver bats will we be picking up? We're going to start it with Colorado. We'll start it off with David Dahl, a left-handed bat with some good contact against both sides and some speed there. So I like that pick. Then we're going to St. Louis. Always 
got to go with Paul DeYoung. He's kind of the staple of the bench whenever you land on the Cardinals. Pretty easy pick there. Then we're going to the Indians. We're going to go with a bronze for this one. We're going to go with 74 Fran Mil Reyes. 96 power against righties. Got to love that. Then Toronto. Got to show my boy Justin Smoke some love. The switch hitting king from Angel in the outfield. And the final spot on the team will be from the LA Dodgers. And that's going to go to Jock Peterson. So let's go ahead and build the team. Take a look at what it looks like overall and talk about it real quick. All right, let's start it off with the rotation. Obviously, the rotation looks good up and down. Matthews and Seaver, Cole, Bumgarner, and Ryan. No complaints there. I'm not worried about any starters I would land on. The bullpen looks pretty good. Josh Hader, obviously the best reliever we've got in the pen. Raleigh Fingers is also going to be really good. And then Patrick Corbin, I'm going to use definitely, especially if I've already used Hader. And then as far as the lineup, the lineup looks pretty good. Even if we have a couple maybe weaker spots like Danny Santana and Victor Carrot like the team still looks pretty good everybody on this team should be able to hit pretty decently so I'm liking what I'm seeing with this squad and I hope I take a W today this is definitely better than the team in the last video all right let's hope that I get blessed with a decently cool stadium to play at none of this crazy cheese uh, Crosley field I'm pretty sure that's a classic one I hate this one. Ugh. I'm really kind of excited to have Ichiro at the top of the lineup. I haven't used him much since that first game I made with him. All right, we're facing Jake Arietta, so we're facing that righty. He's got some finest on there. He's got some signatures. He's got Honus. All right, this should be a pretty evenly matched game. I like what well, I like what the matchup's given me. I would have maybe preferred to land on Garrett Cole or even Nolan Ryan. I mean, I. I'm not complaining because Bumgarner's still going to be a good pitcher for me, but Garrett Cole would have been nice. Oh, he's swinging early. I like it. That is not a good pitch. I don't even think Ichiro can get there. Yep, that was a bad pitch. That was a fastball. Supposed to be on the outside part, and we left it right over the middle. God dang it. Good pitch. Let's go. Excellent spot from Bumgarner. Woo! Another pop-up behind the infield. He's going to third? Make the play, Ichiro. Nice. Running grab. Good read. He would have easily scored on that even if it was just a single. All right, Jake Arietta. I don't remember the last time I faced this card, but I know I have faced him multiple times. That sinker is what I got to look out for. Up the middle. There he is, Ichiro. Everybody loves pitching to him. 2-1. I'm going hit and run with Ichiro. I'm letting Ichiro loose. And, oh my god, that is the most unfortunate thing. JT Real Muto, that. Oh, let's go. You done messed up, my friend. That's going to be a triple for JT Real Muto. That would have scored the guys too, god dang it. Oh, I should have swung at that, dude. What am I looking for? That's a slider right in the wheelhouse. And then I pop that up. Yeah, that... Inning was just a bunch of bad execution. Oh, what are you swinging at there, buddy? We're going to go with the curveball low after that one. And he gets a hit. Wow. All right. Fair enough. Cody Bellinger, one of the best hitters in the game. Oh, my God. That ball is absolutely launched by Hornsby. Wow. Wow. Bumgarner's getting lit up, dude. This is not what I needed. There we go. Double play. There we go. Getting a little bit of momentum. Thank you. And there we go. All right, so he gets two hits, or actually three hits. Scores two runs. He hit the ball very hard that inning. Even the outs he hit in the infield were hit pretty hard. Yeah, there you go, Victor. That's why I used you over Rizzo. A little bit extra pop against righties. I like it. <laughs> yes, I got blessed with some cheese. Look at Danny Santana, the weak link of the team, actually stepping up and doing something big. We might get thrown out at third base. We're in there, dude. Danny Santana with a double. Oh, mad bum. He freaking smoked that pitch. Get down, get down. Oh my god, I just got robbed of an RBI. Dude, I don't know where to throw anything to this guy. This is one of those games where I'm just going to have to accept the fact that it's going to be a slugfest because this is on All-Star. 
and all these guys are good hitters. Like, that's not even a bad pitch. That's going to score the run, so he's going to take the lead back up to two now. Let's go, baby. Danny Santana, man. It's always the people you least expect in Revolution. Little two-out single. I'm going to go ahead and get the bullpen uh, in the game. I'm going to take out Bumgarner. He's just getting hit too hard. Uh, five hits through four innings. I'm going to go ahead and let somebody else get an opportunity. I'm going to get Justin Smoke up here and see if he can get a two-out RBI. Come on. Oh, my God. I can't get anything past Rogers Hornsby today. All right, well... Madison Bumgarner is out of the game, and his replacement is going to be Raleigh Fingers here in the fifth inning. So, my starter, you know, after getting that insanely good rotation, he only went four innings. He was just getting hit too hard. Good slider. Let's go, dude. That is a money pitch. As soon as I released that, I knew that was going to strike him out. There we go. Easy play for Longo. Two outs just like that. There we go. Another easy out. Nice job, dude. Raleigh Fingers, one, two, three, shuts the door in the fifth. There we go. Nice. One out here in the fifth. We got Alan Trammell on first base, 65 speed. Not anything electric on the base paths, but this is setting up the middle of the order to maybe do some damage and hopefully tie this game this inning. All right, there we go. He's afraid to pitch to Real Muto. Now he's got to pitch to Longoria. Here we go. Oh my, well, hey, the nice thing is it doesn't have a double play on it, but uh, we got two outs now. Daniel Murphy, that's taking him all the way to the wall. I think he's going to make the catch, though. Oh my god, what just happened? He really just robbed me like that. Oh my god. Cody Bellinger, what was this catch against this high wall? He timed this perfectly. Oh my god. I still only have one run in this game. As much as I would like to be pissed off, I mean, that's just one thing you gotta tip your cap to your opponent to. That's a hell of a play, man. Victor! Victor! Keep going, ball! Let's go! Victor Caratini, the gold card from the Chicago Cubs with a no doubt home run on the sinker. We cut the lead down to only one run now. We're in business. Get through there, get through there, get through there. Yes, he brought in Kenley Jansen. That is not gonna stop the offense. We're ready to rock here. Let's go, baby. Yo, Danny Santana has three hits. All right, so obviously this means we got to go to the bench. Do we go to David Dahl for the contact or do we go to Jock Peterson for the power? Um, screw it. We're going to Jock. We're going to try to get the big swing right here. Jock. Oh, my. He did not need to die for that. We're going to keep him all at first base or all at third base. I mean, we we'll keep him all on the bases. You know what I'm trying to say. We got Ichiro with the bases loaded and nobody out. Ichiro. Oh my god, Ichiro Suzuki with the grand slam. He just brought in Kenley Jansen, and we just got four straight hits. Oh, what in the world is going on? Here comes the moment of truth. We're bringing in Seth Lugo, the guy I'm not very good with. We've got a three-run lead. <laughs> I'm not very confident here. All right, getting a jammed contact result from Hornsby, who hit a home run earlier, so that's big. Ground ball to short. Nice, nice. That's going to be two quick and easy outs for Seth Lugo. Jason Giambi off the bench. Dude's got crazy pop against righties. Ah, there it is. There's Seth Lugo, ladies and gentlemen. I can't pitch with this card. Jason Giambi does his job as the pinch hitter. Oh, wow. That actually just froze him. Wow, he's going to bunt for a hit with Wagner. I didn't have a chance of getting him. There we go. Double play, though. It doesn't end up working out for him. My middle infield is clutching up. No. Oh, my God. Seth Lugo. Oh, why can't you just not allow runs for me? Why do you got to give up so many? I mean, to be fair, that pitch isn't even bad. That's not even in the zone. Christian Yelich is just unstoppable against right-handed pitching. 
Oh, Santana, I don't think he's gonna get there. It's gonna be close, though. Oh, if I would've jumped for it, I might've had it. All right, I gotta be careful right here. Cody Bellinger, I feel like I gotta go to a lefty. I gotta go to Patrick Corbin, even though he's due up first in the bottom of the eighth. Oh, he's going to Vlad. Okay, so he's taking out Bellinger. That's a big decision. Make the strong throw to first base and just end this. Thank you. All right, so he gets one run. We're still in the lead. All right, bottom eight, we got the pitcher spot up first, Fran Mill Reyes. He is gonna be leading off, and then we've got the top two guys of the order, and then we gotta go to the ninth to try to close it out, so it would be really clutch if I got an insurance run or two right here. Ah, that ain't gonna do it. Fran Mill does not get the job done. One out. And Ichiro gets jammed. I knew that exact pitch was coming, too. Get over it. Yeah, there we go. There we go, Allen. Little two out base hit. I was going to think about going to two, but I'm not going to test Willie Mays' arm. No shot. Come on. Come on. At least get off the wall. Please get off the wall. Please get off the wall. Let's go. Uh, he's not going to score. 65 speed is not enough. Let's go, baby. That's an insurance run. I'm definitely not running on Vlad. We got another opportunity with first and third and two outs. All right, that'll end the inning, but we did put an insurance run on the board. That is huge. I'm going to have Josh Hader come in and try to close this out. Actually, I'm going to start it off with Brandon Workman because I really don't want Hader in against uh, Frank Thomas due up second. And we're getting a ground ball to short right off the rip. That's going to be the first out of the ninth. Two more to go. Oh, Frank Thomas striking out. We just got to make a strong throw to first. Real Muto's got it. Pitcher spot is coming up. Let's see what the matchup's going to look like. All right, he brought in his created player. Um, I'm just going to stick with Brandon Workman, I guess. I mean, he's a switch hitter with insane stats against both sides. It really doesn't matter. And it's going to be a fly ball to center field. Danny Santana, the man himself, camped underneath it. And we're getting a victory. A come from behind victory at that. Not bad, man. Victor Caratini with a home run and a double. Ichiro with the clutch grand slam to spark that five run sixth inning. JT Real Muto had a triple and a double. Danny Santana. How about Danny Santana with three hits in this game? I drafted a really, really good starting rotation and Bumgarner only went four innings. So the fact that my bullpen only allowed two runs in the five innings that they had, that's a huge W. Everybody was on their game today. Raleigh Fingers, two strong innings. Brandon Workman getting the save. This was a fun game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of Revolution, man. I had a lot of fun playing with this team. It was good. The pitching was good. The hitting was good. Everything was really sound with this one, so I had a really good time. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. We're on the push for 100K. I'd appreciate anybody that sticks around on the channel. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Peace.